Happy birthday. Now you're one year older. Happy birthday. Your life still isn't over. turning out to support Don't Flop two years today. This is our anniversary event, actually, of October 2008 when O'Shea battled a kid called Too Easy in Brighton Town, man. First ever, ever Don't Flop rap battle film. This man was in it, big up. We are here, like I said, you can cop an official Don't Flop t-shirt, don'tflop.com, website up and running now, £10 plus P&P, &P, all that good shit, man. Don't Flop rap battle league on Facebook. <laughs> This is going to be a classic matchup. Right, these are two cats who've been in Dope Flop since the very first Northern event we ever did, and we thought this was the perfect event for a one on one. On the right, you've seen him probably, I think, yeah, the most viewed battle on Dope Flop. The MVP, you know all that shit. O'Shea, make some noise. <laughs> And, like I said, debuted at the same Northern event O'Shea did. Make some noise, repping Chesterfield, Don't Flop North, Flex Digits in the building. Make some noise. <laughs> this is going to be a classic, man. This is, we're going to like, witness some, uh, some magic. Right, on the right, what do you want, bruv? Heads or tails? I am heads. Let's see. Mm. What do you want? Right. Okay, the judges, there's no OT. This is 90 second, 90 second unlimited. Right. First 90 seconds, my man Flex Digits, let's go. Yo, let me give you peeps a little brief history of me and little Steve. See, I used to watch his battles before this written league existed, see? He'd be spitting freeze on which would seem an everlasting killing spree till that day in York when I maimed this dork and ended his first ever winning streak. It's little Steve, little Steve. The bitch that's teaching Sprungy to rhyme. But I find it funny inside how little Steve's mini me is double his size. <laughs> See, Flex Digits and No Shay's never mentioned in the same sentence, because the only thing me and him have in common is that we use the same dentist. <laughs> and even he called you a goofy twat. Like, what? Are you stupid, pal? Because judging on the size of which fucking tooth he has, the Hoover Dam couldn't block the flow to his root canals. <laughs> And you're confusing fans with that strange language of speak. Sounds like either his tongue is obstructed by the span of his teeth, he's trying to communicate with a gander of geese, or he's got Ricky Riley's semen fucking stashed in his cheeks. <laughs> and you ain't rapping no freeze off the top or receiving no guap, and you would think that Frank Lampard was taking a corner kick the way I'm putting a scouse called Steve in a box. <laughs> and I was perceived as a knob when I dropped that Reese Jones bar when I burst O'Shea, then unanimous mentioned it and you threatened him, telling him he'll be the first to pay. See, I find it funny how you pick scraps with a kid two-thirds your age, but when me and Censor said it, you didn't have a fucking word to say. <laughs> See, apparently O'Shea's gonna stop drinking. Well, I hope that he quits and says no to the drink. Apart from on New Year's, when he drinks a few beers, trip over and slips, knocks himself unconscious and chokes on his sick. You ain't fucking with Don't Flop's token spick! And just to throw it in, in your windows a prick! <laughs> Seconds, let's go. Yo, hold it down, everyone, please. Let's go, champ. Listen, first you need to forfeit. We're not mentioned in the same sentence because you're shit. <laughs> <laughs> Did anybody see Definition's face after that flex digits haymaker? Definition didn't even know he'd been punched till he went online a day later. <laughs> Flex Digits Kid, the well-known fucking hypocrite who contradicts what he says in battles like a fucking idiot. See, what you said to Sensei about a certain someone was hideous had to go at Sensei for the exact same thing. You little shit! Do you think we don't remember? Because it was two years ago, November. Kid, here's the whole agenda. You've heard it before. It won't offend you. It's fucking criminal the way you overuse multisyllables. You just go on and on and on like most women do. <laughs> Lyrically and 
beginning, you. Just like the Predator. We should have battled solo a year and a half ago when you weren't such a fucking low-tier competitor. Mm. See, you fell up, fuck off, like a suicide victim, completely vanished off radar like an SAS scuba dive mission. See, the problem is, you just rhyme for rhyme's sake, looking like you were born and raised by snakes that got raped by apes on a fucking blind date. Get your mind straight and your act together. And fuck you, Flex Digits. My accent's better. Children of the damned kill you where you stand, and at the funeral, Salar ends up fingering your nan. And listen, that line, no, that line was so fucking fat. I'm surprised this stupid swat didn't react with his usual. Aggressive motherfucker be posing for photos with his family like this, trying to show us all how angry his life is. Middle class white kids! Fucking hell, I've had enough. Stop acting tough. Your mum's a slut from Magaluf. You're a Spanish fascist fuck. I caught him at the Grand Prix watching Lewis Hamilton blackened up. <laughs> Yo. Flex Digits out of Chesterfield, let's go! Let's Yo, go. see, O'Shea works in Morrison's supermarket, stacking shelves and mopping floors for entire shifts. You may even remember him from the Morrison's advert, holding up a sign in it that said, Reason 96. <laughs> <laughs> Why my life is shit. Yo, cos your wage is embarrassing, plus you ain't getting paid on a battle tip, so if he gets promoted to the frozen deli, is the only way that he's stacking chips. <laughs> plus you ain't macking chicks or even touching shaving beaver. Probably cos you have the facial features of a shaven beaver. <laughs> and you gay as fuck, you gay as fuck. I've lost count of the amount of times that this bender's been to Brighton, but I bet he fits in fine as he resembles Lisa Riley after gender reassignment. <laughs> Your teeth have never been in alignment. You need some sort of copper brace to hold them, looking like he used the same orthodontist as Lady Sovereign. Well, I'm a major problem. You're an aging goblin who either speaks in broken English, or when he was born he had his voice box loaded with vocal snippets snippets of interviews with Tony Hibbert. But oh, shall admit it, the dirtbag battle was ridiculous. That shit reminded me of that scene from Deliverance with that hillbilly screaming, squeal, piggy pig. <laughs> Yo, see, O'Shea grew up the typical scouser, robbing everything from your car to your crib, selling his swag to his father so he could afford lager and cigs. Got arrested, turned his life around, started to spit, joined Don't Flop, got robbed by Lego and Kruger. So I guess it's true what they say, calm as a bitch. Yo. I think Flex lost half his brain in a lobotomy class because honestly, lad, you gotta be mad. Hip hop's a multicultural movement. You go around referencing swastika flags. In your battle with Ruby Kid, you practically said Heil Hitler. Ray Zell told you his parents were BMP and you was like, I'm with ya! Yeah! <laughs> Chesterfield, Chesterfield is small, shit, and boring. Simple and plain. Local news headline man slips in the rain. <laughs> some good weed, you have to sit on a train and travel 300 miles in a different way. <laughs> Listen, I'm scouse, I'm proud, I shout it loud, I slap the childish temper tantrums out your mouth, and I haven't got a fucking clue if living in prison is hard, but it was for you with that dick in your ass. <laughs> Listen, I'm O'Shea, I will rip him apart, I'm so gangster I once had a shit on a shark! <laughs> And then the shark shitty. This motherfucker can't kick it with me. I mean that literally. I slash his Achilles heel, so it's not just a figure of speech. He came back from Thailand. He's not missing the beach. He's missing that ten-year-old sex slave that used to bring him his tea. <laughs> Shout out to little Lee. Listen, and I know that I know that sounds childish, and it's probably not true, but it's easy to do. I'm copying you. See, on tracks you act like some sort of psychopathic, violent criminal. We all find that kind of cynical, and I can be racist too. Your style's de spickable. <laughs> uh, are you? I, I hope your Spanish family's upset. I couldn't care less. I will Ric Flair chop your mother's fucking bare chest like. <gasps> Listen, I will tear the 
Uncle Ten, count your mother's face into my cock. Arrive at ten, then start again from one all night fucking long. <laughs> Random shit, lad. I had someone else before. That'd be better. Oh. <laughs> Yo, everyone, everyone! Yo, please hold it down. Let's flex spit. Round number two. Oh, three. 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 Round, Round number three. three. This is Eleven. unlimited time as long as they want to spit. Let's go. Yo, true story. O'Shea used to be the football hooligan type in the Everton firm. Getting all abusive and hype, drinking Stella, always in the mood for a pint till it came to glass and someone and he was like, fuck that, ain't losing me pint. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so fuck rapping, we can settle this in the USC style spa, but his teeth are so big he'd have to use a couch arm as a mouth guard. Yo, remember, yo, remember the riots in Tox Tef? Well, he wasn't fighting the cops then, he would lie in his pop's bed and remain as silent as cot death. You went, you went from the county road cutters to bouncing Joe Budden, and then never knew that Scousers owned others. See, in Liverpool you'll never walk alone, or you'll get gang raped. It's the only city in the UK where you can catch AIDS through a handshake. <laughs> Paul, he lives up to that typical criminal stereotype because he's got an encyclopedic knowledge of car stereotypes. <laughs> Plus I can never decide if you and your mates are even human because if we lined up Sprungy, you, Innuendo and Riley, you look like the four stages of evolution. <laughs> See, your innuendo's battle nights, people know him as a cheating poet because it's called the art of freestyle. So when you spit in steez you wrote, it kind of defeats the notion. See, Flex Digits knows your ex missus chose to leave you because of your love for open mics, and nowadays it's only right to say that Rowan Fife owns your life. Yes. See, you got this crowd full of O's because you've been making them laugh, but if we take away that comedy, you're basic at rap. See, I'm just stating the facts. A battle nowadays is what it hardly is. Just a tea party with a set of smarmy prick slash misogynists who call your ma a bitch, and afterwards they don't expect to get palm for it. See, I'm just here today to battle Steve because the person that inspired you to rap was was too sissy to battle me. Mm. I don't need to be a name dropper to get you this crowd to start backing me, but if you talk shit and expect not to get fucked up, that's a faggot stream. Fuck Nuts magazine. <laughs> 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 fuck your lyrics and your flow, and for the fifth fucking time, fucking you end up. <laughs> fuck the tracks you made and all them years on the battle stage, a decade on, and Patrick Blaine is the biggest fucking fan he's made. Fuck your schoolboy jokes and your scouser boy tones. I put a homo called Steven in a box like that faggot from Boyzone. Yo, unlimited time, final round. O'Shea, don't flop second birthday, let's go. Check it. This is a huge fuck you to all you internet geeks who create these fake accounts and cause internet beef. Well, sorry, kids, that don't interest me, so fuck you, your mouse, your keyboard, and your Windows XP. <laughs> 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 Half these MCs be scared of ruining their perfect reputation, so they do two battles a year, carefully selecting who they facing. Yeah. But personally, Fuck I that. think that shit's a disgrace, and, and this verse can be considered fucking education. I made Don't Flop popular. Please say I didn't. Every time this company gets mentioned, my name's with it. I suppose I should act like I'm famous, innit? But I know that's bullshit. Game of cricket. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> I do this, in fact, we all do this for promotion and a laugh, nothing fucking else, you got a problem with that kid, go fuck yourself, and I'm not stupid, I do choke a lot, it's cause I drink and smoke a lot, when people like Flex turn up with these fake ass game faces on, grow a cock, and listen, and just for the record, just for the record, Plan B thinks I'm funny, Scallies fucking love me, I don't spit out me dummy, and I'll always shout out, Sprungy! Sprungy! So, Limerick Academy, read the bars in your nuts magazine, your fucking guardian, your enemy too. Got offered the spot on local radio, but I didn't take it because I don't need to. I am content with making pointless tracks and shouting abuse down the pub. And when it comes to calling faggots fags, who sounds as good? <laughs> but if you think I'm a novelty act because I spit comedy raps, well then I'm gonna react at the drop of a hat. See, I was body and twats way before I don't flop. I'll continue to do so after I don't stop. Like Kruger said, I'm a fucking robot. You know what? 
spot. I'm gonna come out and say it. The number one spot is mine. Face it, I am daring the fuck out of Tent you to come try and take it. Listen. Yeah. Forget him for now, though. Let's get back to the lion racist. <laughs> Santiago Perez, your nan's arsehole's a mess, it stinks of a shark hole and death, and I can't hold me breath. And it's no surprise to me that little Mr. Multisyllable Rhyming Scheme wants to be calling out Lee Scott. I mean, Lee Scott rhymes with knee drop, eavesdrop, Reebok, Pink Team Top, P Wok, E Wok, anything else? Three shots, three cocks, he'll use that one. Cheap shots. <laughs> Addict. Conquest of the Overfiend. I know I smoke green. What the fuck's that meant supposed to mean? <laughs> Listen, I will knock you out. I've done a verse on that track. I didn't have a fucking clue what I was going on about. <laughs> I was just like, once there was a wizard who knew a fucking lizard who was fucking good at quantum physics. He escaped to space on a Honda Civic, got beaked up his face like Popeye on spinach. I bought the album, but I have not once listened. <laughs> Listen, and he's on that horror tip, talking about he's going to cut a motherfucker up. Lad, if you had fresh dancing shoes, Using a standing knife, you couldn't cut a rug, little motherfucker. No, listen, fuck it off, I'm bored. <laughs> Unanimous, greasy vinyl. Oh my fucking god. That was close. There's no losers in a battle as hype as an, and as ill as that. But I think O'Shea edged him with that last round. He just was so poised. It was, it was insane. O'Shea gets that man. M to the A, check the mixtape on the mic, this is a free download. Uh, this battle was hype, but uh, my man O'Shea took it, you know. Tore it up. I respect the flex though. I'm conspicuous, the most terrible judge ever. He's been fired. I love I'm going to keep it short sure because I got told off for talking too much last time. By the um, way, I didn't I'd, get fired. I chose to leave. I don't even know who this guy is, man. Um, so basically what I'd put it as is um, the first round was real tight. But I'd say um, most days the person he's had was hitting a bit harder. Um, the second round I had it kind of like pretty much even. Um, the third round, at the start I thought Fledged Digits was going to take it, he had some like bang, bang, bang. But then again when it came to the first ones, I felt O'Shea was just a bit, you know what I mean, a bit next level, he kind of blacked out. So I have to give it to O'Shea, he's one of the best verses in the club I've seen for a minute. Even though I felt he was kind of talking to me a little bit in the third line, you know what I mean? I'm not mad, you know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, CT. Yeah. Fucking entertaining, eh? Like, um, O'Shea is ridiculous, man. Like, that's the best I've seen him come. I'm gonna watch it a few, few times. Like, that whole number one is much, uh, that was amazing. Uh, Inverse Tension next, I guess. So, but, uh, Fle not take nothing away from Flex, he was sick as fuck, too. So, O'Shea was on the way, constantly. Best I've ever seen him come, so I've got to give it to O'Shea, man. Oh, clock, the Dope Clock t shirt. Go to the website, it's sick. Yeah, get him. Uh, that was heavy, that was really heavy. Big up to Flex, not just because he stood right there, but uh, O'Shea took that, definitely. Yes, we're back here, Dope Flop's second birthday, Vibe Bar, Brick Lane, London Town. One of the most anticipated matchups has been on the cards for the last six or seven months. We had a fucking 290 seconds, unlimited last time rounds as well, but it was actually unanimous decision. O'Shea wins, make some fun. <laughs> It was right, it's the sickest in Dope Club, number one. Yo, we legend, man. Yo, legend, legend, man. Yeah. We're both legends. We need to say this right now. I know he's had one grind time head, but which other grind time and Canadian heads are fucking ready for this man? He is the one to beat the UK right now. Let's go. Right.